What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which x cubed plus 2x is equal to 12. Well our first step will be for us to move 12 to the left hand side. So we have x cubed plus 2x and as 12 crosses to the left it becomes minus 12 and this is equal to 0. Now this simplifies into x cubed plus 2x negative 12 is same as negative 8 negative 4 and this is equal to 0. Well we wrote negative 12 as negative 8 negative 4 because 8 is a perfect cube just as x cubed. Now let's pair the perfect cubes together. So I'll take x cubed and I'll take minus 8. Very good. Then I'll have plus 2x plus 2x then minus 4. Very good. And this is equal to 0. Now this simplifies into x cubed minus 8 can be written as 2 cubes plus this is 2x minus 4 equal to 0. Now notice that this is a difference of 2 cubes. Well, difference of 2 cubes, for example, when I have a cube minus b cube, this can be written as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So we can decide to write this like this. So that means x cubed minus 2 cubes can be written as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared. Very good. Just like this. And then plus 2x minus 4 equal to 0 plus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. Now let's simplify what we have inside of this bracket. So we have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared is 4. And then notice that 2 is common from here. So we can factor out 2. Now, open bracket, 2x divided by 2 is x minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, notice that x minus 2 is common. So we can factor out x minus 2. So now, open bracket. Now we have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. We have this, which is x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then plus 2 times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. We have 2. And this is equal to 0. So this simplifies into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x. Now 4 plus 2 is actually 6 and this is equal to 0. So we have two cases. So for the first case, let's call that case 1. We have x minus 2 to be equal to 0. Or for the second case, let's call this case 2. This expression, which is x squared plus 2x plus 6, is equal to 0. Well, it is easy for us to just get the value of x from here by moving negative 2 to the right. And when I move negative 2 to the right, it becomes positive 2. Now let's get back to case 2. So for case 2, we have a quadratic equation. Now looking at this quadratic equation, you see that it cannot be factorized. So we use a quadratic formula. A from here 
is a coefficient of x squared, and that's 1. b is a coefficient of x, and that's 2. y, c is a constant term, which is 6. Now, we're looking for x, and the quadratic formula will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now let's substitute into our quadratic formula. So we have x to be equal to minus b minus b is 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 2 squared minus 4 times a times c 4 times a what is a a is 1 times c c is 6 all over 2 times a 2 times a a is 1 very good so we have x to be equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 all over 2 times 1 that is 2 so this simplifies into x equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 24 is negative 20 all over 2 very good now, our next step will be for us to simplify this negative 20 inside of this square root. So this becomes x equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of. Now, negative 20 is same as 4 times 5 times negative 1 all over 2. Now, this expression here can be simplified into we have x equal to negative 2 plus or minus. Now, this will be the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1 all over 2. And now, simplifying further, we have x to be negative 2 plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. Now this is the square root of 5. And then times the square root of negative 1 is i, which is iota, all over 2. Now simplifying further, x now becomes, this is negative 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 5 times i is 2 root 5i all over 2. Now notice that 2 is common on the numerator, so we have to factor out 2. So factor out 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, plus or minus. 2 root 5i divided by 2 is the square root of 5i, all over 2. Now we see that this 2 can cancel out this 2 making x to be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5i. Well, there are actually two values of x from here. We have the first one to be negative 1 plus, that's going with the positive, the square root of 5i, while the other one x negative 1. Now this time, going with the negative minus the square root of 5i. So we have three total solutions. We have the first solution to be x equal to 2. Now the second solution is negative 1 plus the square root of 5i. And then the third solution, negative 1 minus the square root of 5i. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.